any discontinuity that's not removable, which means any place where the graph cannot be connected is an essential discontinuity. Vertical asymptotes are a type of essential discontinuity. A removable discontinuity is usually expressed by a point where there's a gap in the function, usually causing the function to be 0 over 0, the indeterminate form. So first let's factor the numerator. 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 will uh, make our bubbles. Negative 15 can be negative 3 times 5 or negative 5 times 3. It can also be 1 times negative 15 and negative 1 times 15. We want a sum of negative 7. 2x squared is 2x times x. And since we want negative 7, we're going to place negative 5 over here and positive 3 here. 2x times negative 5, negative 10x. 3 times x, 3x. And the sum is negative 7. So in factored form, the numerator is 2x plus 3 times x minus 5 divided by x squared minus x minus 20. The product is negative 20. The sum is negative 1. So it has to be 5 and 4, x minus 5, 5 is negative, and 4 is positive. So the two factors are x minus 5 times x plus 4. Now, x equal to 5 f of x will become 0 over 0, x minus 5 is 0. Therefore, we have a removable discontinuity because this form is the indeterminate form. That's the hole in the graph. Now, x equal to negative 4 will be the essential discontinuity because a vertical asymptote is a part of the graph that cannot be connected. In summary, x minus 5 equal to 0 and x is equal to 5 is the indeterminate form 0 over 0 and it's a gap that is removable. So it's a removable discontinuity also known as a hole in the graph. On the other hand, x plus 4 equal to 0 x is equal to negative 4 is an essential discontinuity. It causes the graph to be undefined, which means that you're going to have a vertical asymptote, a part of the graph that cannot be connected. 